And I would say to the Home Secretary that given the scale of the problems, not just in this case, but in previous cases as well, her statement is very weak and it shows a serious lack of leadership on something that is so grave and affects confidence in policing as well as serious crimes. We've seen repeated failures to respond or take seriously allegations of violence against women by a serving police officer, by other serving police officers, allegations of domestic abuse not taken seriously in the vetting processes, and in this case, a failure to suspend, for example, a failure to suspend David Carrick when rape allegations were made in July 2021, even though the Met Police knew there had been domestic abuse allegations two years previously, a misconduct process that concluded there was no case to answer despite the repeated alarms being raised, a full vetting check not triggered, and David Carrick's permission to carry firearms restored. And most shocking of all is that this happened at the height of the alarm about Wayne Cousins and the murder, the deeply disturbing murder of Sarah Everard. And this undermines confidence for women, confidence for victims, but also for police officers who are working so hard, and especially for women police officers who may themselves have reported misogynistic abuse and for officers who are doing excellent work every day to tackle violence against women and girls and know that confidence in that work is being undermined.